Mining exploration takes a long time and the procedures are expensive. In order to understand the composition of a rock like this, for example, you need several weeks. But by combining X-ray-based technologies and 3D modeling, there's now a solution that could revolutionize the length of time and cost of mineral analysis. The products from mining are around us almost in every single aspect of our lives. Searching for these materials, which are hidden in the rocks hundreds of metres underground, is similar to a treasure hunt. Around one in every thousand mine exploration provides a positive result. A European research project in Sweden is working on a new instrument that will reduce costs and time. For a geologist, the eyes, of course, is the most important tool here. But then there are properties my eye can't see. Um, and that's also something fantastic with this new technology. I can see inside the rock and I can see what I can't see with the naked eye. To evaluate the potential of a mine and where to carry out excavations, a lot of drill cores have to be analysed by specialised laboratories. This takes several weeks. The mineral detector instead can reveal the composition of rock samples in a few minutes, directly at the mining site. We are applying some medical technology to this drill course. We are using CT scans combined with other X-ray information to get the most information we can out of this drill course. Geologists can read the minerals in an unprecedented manner and understand where to locate the next excavations. All the mines are actually uh, have their unique characteristics in terms of, of the geochemical signature of the rocks. Making a 3D model of a mining site is actually comparable with a building upside down, like the Empire State Building. Underground, you want to map out every single room in that building. What's there in terms of metals, in terms of structures, how are they organized? That's actually what X-Mine focus on. The real-time analysis of rock samples reduces the need of extended explorations and blasting. This means nearly one quarter less of energy consumption is used and there's less CO2 emissions. We need sustainable mining. We need uh, lower energy consumption and uh, less waste and uh, less uh, CO2 emissions. And we are developing technology to uh, reach the goals for this sustainable mining. The integration of this technology in a mineral sorting plant enables a real-time selection of the material from the mine. Optical and X-ray sensors above the belt can analyse the rocks while they're moving and select the ones rich in precious material. This machine, which is being tested in Poland, is able to process dozens of tonnes per hour. The computer system is providing the information for the pneumatic valves, which particle has to be rejected at which time. The physical separation is done by, by uh, pneumatic valves. These valves are placed in this area at the end, at the discharge of the, of the belt, where the particles are falling uh, free in the free fall uh, from, from the belt. But those which we want to reject, they are uh, rejected by the uh, small, short uh, uh, pneumatic pulse, uh, so, so they are falling into the different belts.